Welcome back to Let's Play Age of Wonders Blind. My campaign army is ever so slowly trudging northwards toward the leader of goblins up there. I think it's time to part ways with that frog though, finally. I think the frog should get off to the waters over here and the east at least. That direction. Uh, the rest of this army can uh, march with our hero I suppose. Uh, let's make sure we've got I wanted to make sure I had my elephant in that force. I've got some more troops coming up from the south. I suppose you could catch up. Not quite. But are you getting there? Uh, this paladin moves quickly though. Oh, not that quickly. Okay. In fact, I think these guys could join up. Yeah. And then these guys. Uh, one of the things that happened at the start of this turn was that the Dark Elves started moving around here again. Um, took over that Altar of Life. They're probably going to they are likely to take over that city where we foolishly weakened the, the defences and then attacked and failed to take it. And our forces in here are very, very weak indeed. So, I do believe we've got a... Yum. Got a paladin down here. I think, uh, rather than sending you east as we were planning on, I... Gonna need some forces at least uh, in here. And the question is what to do with you. The really the plan was to send you east, but there's I don't know, if the Dark Elves are moving in there sending it all the way back there is gonna be very slow. What I'm tempted to do, do of course is try and send you north this way. That throws you right into the thick of it, though. Really not sure what to do with these guys exactly. But the Dark Elves are there already. If they start moving south, they're going to be ahead of, our force, of this force. If we start moving that way, we'll be able to meet them there at least. But it might mean losing that dwarven city. We don't want to do that. That frog, I think, is going to go straight east. It's going to use his. It's uh, going to cross the water there, I think. This is not the most threatened area right now. Uh, maybe we could like eventually at least strengthen our more northeasterly position. Are we just producing merchandise in here? I don't know. I mean, elephants are quite cool. They're very expensive though, but... Scorpion. Poison Strike. I 
They're unnecessarily slow though, those scorpions. I think I'd rather produce either simple Azrax or possibly an elephant. Even though they are a bit expensive, they are quite mobile, fairly strong. Can take some punishment. And they produce just as fast as these Azrax, I think, these basic units, I think, uh, an elephant in there is going to help out a little bit. Oh yeah, these guys moved already. Oh yeah, you, uh, you're also going to take an awful long time getting all the way back there. Dwarves would be able to get back into the thick of it, of course, but I, I think I've lost most of my dwarven units anyway. I've got this one down there, who I think is rather going to explore the mountainous areas. Alright, this ruin is actually unexplored. Oh yeah, we made an elf here! Right, I was gonna join up with these because we've been thinking about taking this city. And there's also this city that we want to take. I'm just worried about, about an invasion from the north though. Let's send these guys around to see what's there. Oh, what's that? More magic? Surely that's a good thing. You don't get in there though, do you? Do you get in there? Not quite. Moving closer though. Yeah, you're so far at least just... Actually though... You should really do. Whoops. Oh, you're likely to get attacked. Maybe we can strengthen you with an archer? Who's going to fall behind anyway? And then these guys. Could send the north, threaten the dark elves, um, pulling them back there is going to be very slow. Let's keep him here. Send them the slow, slow organizing path. It at least allows to mess with the Dark Elves if they try something, which they likely will, whereas you aren't likely to get very far, actually. I could send you in there as well, of course, along with the... I mean, it didn't take you a long time, time but you're not that far behind that pallet, for example. I think that makes sense, actually. Guard that city. These elves are going to take forever to get anywhere. Oh, we should really try and make an archer. At least one arch to protect that city, and then these guys. Um, moving in there, aren't they? To join with those. And that's about it, I think, for this.
said, we're just moving our troops around basically. Uh, I produced archer and sword. Oh, Isbon is upgraded now. Yes, the Azrak city is upgraded. Let's see what kind of troops we can make here. Oh, we can make loads of stuff. Azrak riders. Like the Highman riders, these are very, very fast. I think the Highman riders are the ones to compare them to. Azrak priests, not that fast. I prefer the, he the Highman. Really, uh, a beholder actually. That's very, very expensive. Well, the, the riders are very cheap actually. But then they aren't that much better, to be frank, than uh, the elephants. I mean, they are faster, obviously, and they can charge as well. So yeah, they are b better, but they. S Reduce more slowly. They're actually even cheaper. Upkeep six. Up, no, the higher upkeep, but reducing it is cheaper. What can a beholder do? Cause fit doom gaze. What does that do? A long jade range projection of death based energy. Floating allows you to move across terrain on a cushion of air. Does that mean it's effectively flying? It's a bit slow though. I don't like movement units with movement 24. Whoa, that wasn't... I wanted to look at the gen, see what they are. Floating. Yeah, it d does seem like these are flying units and they're fast. Expensive, but fairly strong, I'd say. Judging from the stats, certainly stronger than the elephants, and uh, they fly. They've got magic bolts. And then finally, there's sandworms. Good for cave crawling, obviously, and tunneling. Oh, yeah! Bur allows you to burrow a passageway through subterranean earth. That's interesting. So, how does that work? Is it just for the sandworm itself, or is it. Can it make a passageway that others can use? And is it just below ground, or is it. I don't know. Desert concealment. Having a lot of troops in the desert anyway, fire protection, yeah. This one's very expensive and a bit slow. I think I prefer the gin. I'm gonna try and install a gin actually, even if it takes a while, see what they're like. And then do I have the money to... Yeah, I'm still upgrading this city. You haven't got the money to upgrade something else, I suppose. You know what, maybe I should get rid of that thing once and for all. Since apparently I can't ask him to join me. Maybe I should get rid of him before he does something, but... If I can get in there, of course, I have some stuff to use to fight him with first. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, producing a male cavalier. Or cavalier, however you want to pronounce that. Frostlands and moving. Okay, the humans have made an alliance with the dwarves, is that it? I think that looks good news for us. That's the high man. 
Oh crap, that's not good. That's... The Dark Elves are lying with... Um, the Undead are really making peace with everyone. Nobody wants to fight the Undead, it seems. And the Independents are... Going around, and it's our turn again. So... I'll save... And then I hope you'll join me for the next turn. Until then.